having nostalgic problems. Big, big nostalgic problems, man. I love it. I don't know if y'all had a chance to watch that X-Men cartoon in the 90s, but it meant the world to me. Might be my favorite cartoon, but I, I, I would probably hand it over to the Batman animated series. Cause that was my shiznit. That's my shiznit. But X Men might be right, right behind it, really close, right behind it. It's Batman. It's X Men. I don't know, but I live in a very nostalgic era. I know it's 2023, but I damn near live in the 90s. I walk around in the 90s. Everything that I wear is a, you know, a reference to that time. I could be an old man. I might be an old man. I am Thaddeus Shea. This is Seasonable Cloud. I want to thank you for listening. If you're listening from your car, pay attention to the road. If you're listening from the shitter, enjoy it. Enjoy it until the knees go go numb. You know, to the legs. Start to feel like ghosts are tickling your thighs. Who comes up with something like that? I don't know. That's me. But let's get into it. I know last week I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun in my last episode. I'm not going to lie to you. I really am back in the groove and I really, 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 really love doing my podcast. I don't even know what I would do. I missed it so much. My brain, it allows my brain to be strange because I'm around normals all the time. So here I can be absolutely insane and I don't care. You know, people listen. You know, they feed back to me. They they drop the feedback. They listen. I enjoy it. I love it. I get to be weird. It's my space to be weird. Ah, my space. What a time. My space. What a time. Anyway, last night I got a chance to watch my Golden State Warriors. And y'all know how I feel about Steffi. Steffi and the crew. Y'all know how I feel about Steffi and the crew. And they play Sacramento for the 105th time last night. And I'm so tired of watching them play Sacramento. But we have to keep watching them play Sacramento because they give us the best games. It's a title fight every time they play. It's a title fight every time they play. And every time they play, meaningless, meaningful, too important. Golden State gives them a nice gold one to the nuts. And I enjoy it. They stress me out. But I enjoy it. The games are always close, always tight. Last night, Sacramento didn't have D-Fox. Uh, didn't matter because I knew Sacramento would play hard. Those are those games I called. They call them trap games. I steal it from them. I call them trap games because one team doesn't have their star. The other one has all their stars. Everybody's playing. And you play down to the competition. And the game's close like it was last night. And then Trigger Clay has to do what he does, which he's done so many times. And he gives me a game-winning shot. Trigger. One. Two, you blow, you blow the cannon, you blow the cannon, trigger, Clay, who needed that, he needed it, he needed it, he needed, it. He needed to see that shot go in to get a win, I, I could be just talking from a fan's perspective, but trigger probably doesn't need that, he gonna pull no matter what. He's looked a little hesitant to me, but he could be trying to play a little bit more basketball instead of just pull. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just pull, he might be trying to play a little bit more basketball. But I felt like he needed that last night. That was a hell of a shot. And if you look, there's a there's a picture out there. If you look at Clay, I'm gonna take some water real quick. If you look at Clay. Um, there's two players 
from Sacramento that are all in this space. All in this space. It's one behind, I think that's Barnes, and I can't remember the guy that was starting for Fox last night. No disrespect. I don't care, though. I don't remember his name. Um, And guys right all in his face. And if you look at the shot, Trigger's just focused on the rim. I don't care who's around. And it's bottoms. And y'all know I'm screaming. Trigger. Trigger, 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 trigger. Trigger. That's what I'm screaming, man. That's my guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe a little Kawhi laugh there. <laughs> but that's my guy. And it was a fantastic game last night. That was just part of my my uh, excitement from yesterday as I continue to try to line up, you know, becoming an online person. You know, I'm I'm continuing the process of becoming an elder twitcher. You know, the Gandalf of twitching and gaming and YouTubing. I'm 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 um let me see uh uh damn I can't think of his name. I'm just really I'm just an old guy that enjoys video games. I grew up in the video game era. You're talking about, you know, uh, Atari, you know, you're talking about uh, NBA Live 95. You know, we talking about Super Mario Brothers. Then we moving up, you know, to Madden 2K. I played it all. Now it's just a big ass Call of Duty junkie. And I'm lining everything up. I got my guy working on new cover art for the podcast. I got, uh, I got a person that I went to Fiverr, you know, if you need to figure out, like you can do a lot of things on Fiverr. I think you can somewhere in there, you could probably pay for a hitman. It feels strange. Nobody looks regular. Everybody looks like they're from parts of the, the universe instead of earth. It's all universe, like alien people, but you can get, you could pay for a lot of things on Fiverr. A fever Fiverr, it doesn't seem like it's supposed to exist. You know what I'm saying? Like you can get some federal files from Fiverr. That's what it's like. You pay 20 bucks and you can, you know, see what happened to JFK. And how'd you get the JFK files? I went to uh, Fiverr and I dropped like 20 bucks to a guy. Is it legit? I mean, it looks legit. I expect the feds to be knocking on my door. It looks legit. You can get whatever you need from Fiverr. You need some, you need some help hacking into your girlfriend's IG. You go to Fiverr. These people don't even look real. The pictures don't look legit. But they'll get it done for you. For the low, low, low price. It's insane. But I am on there and I got a, a person working on, uh, I think it's my panel because I want to have a panel design. I was watching the Stephen A. Smith show. He's got like a panel set up. So I'm like, I, like, I want to get a panel like that. So when I interview, because I got to interview tomorrow, I'm not going to tell you who it is. I'm interviewing somebody tomorrow and I want to have a nice panel design to have some things around it. You know, you know, I have the logo, I have the logos where you can see the podcast, you know what I'm saying? Maybe a streamer down there, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, just something to kind of keep, you know, maybe, maybe I put stats down there, just rolling at the bottom because I'm that cool. Maybe I'll do that. But I have people working on things and we'll see what everything comes back and looks like. These people on Fiverr, they work fast. You know, they 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 don't play around. Dark web shit. Dark web shit. You think I'm playing? Head over to Fiverr. You got a bad kidney? You want a kidney? Head over to Fiverr. You may not be able to abs- actually buy a kidney from Fiverr, but they will give you directions. You will pay for directions to get to a place that'll get you to a place, to another place that you can buy a kidney on the black market. I swear to God, I believe in it. That's not a regular place. Her name's Cheryl, but 
It's not really Cheryl. It's not a regular place. I promise you. Place is not regular. But I do have a lot of things that I'm trying to do online and and watching Twitch and learning Twitch and and then trying to, you know, develop this online base. It's interesting. It's fun to watch what people Twitch and like just getting on there. And I was watching, uh, I think that was Thursday Night Football. Dude, dude had one of them Viking beards and he was just drinking beer. And he was just conversating with folks. And I'm like, folks is conversating with a Viking and he's drinking like a Bud Light. And I know that shit is like gas oil, but it's like he's just drinking a Bud Light. People conversating. He's got a Viking beard. He's talking about his bets that he made, how much. And he talked about how he made like five grand over the week betting. And he looks like, I'm, I'm serious. He was looking like his basement could have been his mom's, but he was old. He was older, dude. He's like, he could have been in a mom's basement. It's an older cat, Viking beard, drinking a Bud Light talking to people about betting. And I'm like, this dude's got like 2,000 people watching him. Two. 2,000. Just sitting in a chair. Minimal graphics on the, the video. Just bets that he had made. A Bud Light. You know. A Hobbit beard. Wait, which one? So... Let me see, make sure Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Ain't that no, cause them is the ones that was they be the crew that worked together. To, I can't, I think they I think they hymns. I'm not for sure, but they got the beard. You know what I'm talking about. Don't play me, man. But he just chilling. I wanted to hit him and ask him how how you know, what's the dollars you racket in just sitting up there in your drawers with a Bud Light and a Viking beard talking to people about Thursday night football and bets. I don't even know what that means when you got 2,000 people at that time. Because it was like, because, you know, down here is a different time. But 2,000 people watching you in your draws with a Bud Light and a Viking beard. That's impressive. That's impressive. Oh, ESPN shit. Let's see what's going on. Y'all know I'm in the fantasies. Y'all know I'm in the fantasy footballs and stuff. The, ban- the fantasy basketballs and stuff. Let's see what's happening here. I don't trust nobody. I lost last week, by the way. If you care, I lost last week. Y'all know how I feel about losing. It's not fair. Um, I'm going to tell you something about Jimmy G for the, for the Raiders. And I know the Raiders absolutely cleared house. And I know I'm jumping from what I was talking about. I go back to that in a second. It's my shit. I do what I do. But let me tell you something. Josh Jacobs, Devontae Adams, these are these are heavyweights. These are these are important guys to the NFL business. Jimmy G, porn star Jimmy, son of a bitch, son of a bitch. You can't get paid this type of money to have a <laughs> to have a JV arm, man. It's impossible. You're a grown adult. You got to get that ball 20 yards. You, the offensive line, you got Jacobs. I got him on my team. I it, Actually, I ain't going to lie to you. Jacobs actually did pretty solid. He did solid for me. I know Devontae didn't. He had like one catch for 11 yards, but and I got Jacoby Myers. I have Jacoby Myers, and Jacoby Myers was, was, was doing fantastic. Jimmy G comes back, and it's in his, it's a fucking bus crash next to a elementary school and five chihuahuas and a poodle were murdered and fire and brimstones all over the place. That's what it was like. Jacob, one catch for Jacoby. I mean, it, that call, and then on top of that, Gibbs for Detroit. Gibbs, the rookie for Detroit. Puts up massive numbers. And then I take an L. And I was on a five game winning streak. Do you know what that's? You don't you don't have to care about fantasy football. Do you understand a five game winning streak? I'm invincible at this point. I'm the shit. They don't know what to do with me in the league. I got five game winning streak. I'm just wrecking shit. Next thing you know, 
Jimmy G, Monday night, Detroit, rebound game. I take a L because Gibbs, the rookie running back, decides all of a sudden I'm going to channel Barry Sanders and I'm going to rack up the yards. I'm going to score. What the fuck, man? Who the fuck are you to just come in to my fantasy football It just really destroyed my shit? Anyway, so if y'all see my old ass online gaming and screaming, which I expect to happen in maybe like a week, if you see me and you say, damn, like this nigga's this nigga's old. Just let me be. Cause I, I that's what I like to do, man. I'm a nightlife promoter, man. I, I don't have nothing to do throughout the week. I don't have a lot of things to do out the week. It is holiday season. It is holiday season, which you got done with spooky season, but most of the time, man, I don't have nothing to do with the week. I game with my guy, and you know, I game, so I've been playing games forever, like I said, but I also I hate to say it. This is the wild part about this shit. I game like, okay, so just put yourself in front of a system 20 years ago. Your uncle or even your auntie wants to come, they come over and they say, let me try. They try to play the game. Now you remember when you watch an older person grab the stick and you can art before they even start, you can see the frustration come over their face. So they grabbing the stick, they're frustrated. And then you they you telling them what to do. You got, oh, you got to go left. You got to hit the A button. You got to jump. You can hit the Y button. You got to hit the X button. You hit the B button. They're like, oh, okay. and then you see them move with the stick. They're moving as they're trying to jump and they take the, the, the controller and they're jumping up with it and they're moving around, all that stuff like that. I hate to say it. I hate to say it, man. I'm I still consider myself functional gamer as an elder i feel like a functional gamer but i have to admit i find myself moving with the xbox controller and it's embarrassing but i'm willing to show you my embarrassment so when i'm diving off a building in call of duty and you hear me say he i've probably moved with it because they shoot me in my ass man They shoot me in my ass. It's not fun being shot in your ass in Call of Duty. It still bothers you. It still, it actually still scares you a little bit. It's crazy because it's a video game, but you still get a little bit scared because the shots in the foot, you hear in the feet all in you because you got the headphones on. And I like to consider myself, I got like Dollar General headphones. I don't feel like I got the top notch anymore. I got like Dollar General headphones, but you can still hear everything around you. So it's real close to you. They in your ears, they in your head. You don't, you don't know where they at. You hear the footsteps all over the place and all of a sudden they bust out a door, they shoot you in your ass, you jump off the building, you're drinking into the water because you're trying to, trying to survive. And then you hear a hee-yah, that's a karate sound. You hear a hee-yah, that's me. And then I do a move with it because I feel like I'm helping my guy get away from the ass shots. It doesn't work. I die in the water, but it's so much fun. It's so much fun. That shit. That shit. So, so most, the greatest thing outside of winning the lottery or maybe cashing in somewhere where you did hundred thousands thousands, millions of dollars lottery is sex, right? Sex. You will do anytime I got to, you know, I got to pick up my kid. From this, I don't have any kids. I'm just saying, I had to pick up my kid from school. I can't be late. I've been late 10 times. They're going to they gonna probably call CPS, right? That's where you at. But if there's a moment to have sex, you'll risk having some sex before you go pick up your kids, right? I, right. Same thing for me. Same thing for everybody. Cool, right? I know you got to do these adult things and responsibilities, but we trying to make time for a little cooch coo and a little hoo hoo But... It's the same thing. And and it'll that sex moment fuck up your time. Same thing with gaming. Last longer. <laughs> Last longer. <laughs> but it's the same thing for gaming. 
It's the same. It kills. It takes over my life. I don't get anything done as soon as I hop on that bitch. As soon as I hop on, time is gone. I am no longer a responsible human. And I'm sure I'm looked at as some type of failure. But what are you going to do? I don't have anything to do. This is what I do. You know what I'm saying? This is what I do. Find me in my recliner shooting at you. Pop, 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 pop. So I'm working on that. And there's things you got to do when you want to do things. You definitely have to. I think you research, you research, you research, but you always continue to take the steps necessary to get to where you want to be. And that's something I want to do because I have fun doing it. And if I end up making dollars from it, that's great. So I got my graphics being done up, redone up for the podcast. I got my panel being made. I, I, I hired somebody from Fiverr to do the panel. I hired, I hired somebody from Fiverr to do the, uh, to set me up stream labs to help me out. You know, not that I, listen, not, listen, I'm a self-taught motherfucker. When I did music, when I was mixing and mastering and recording and that's all self-taught activity. Nobody showed me how to do it. I was good at it. You want me to clean some music up? Bring it to me. I got you. Mix it. Pow. Master. Pow. Got you. Uh. Done. It's good at it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm all self-taught. And I could have done everything. I really do believe that. I could have made my own panel, but it's so time consuming. If you got the duckies, baby, just spend the duckies to get it done by somebody who really focuses in that world. That's where they dance. That's where they waltz. That's where they tango at. So I just give you the ducky duck duckets and then you go ahead and hook me up and I get set up easy. So I got somebody doing the graphic work. That Well, actually, I got my boy Davion's people doing my graphic work for the podcast. And then I got Fiverr doing a panel and I got Fiverr setting me up on Streamlabs. I told you you could buy a kidney, but not necessarily an actual kidney, but they'll probably get you some MapQuest directions to a kidney. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I also want to talk because I, t- I mentioned a little bit earlier that the spooky season is over. And I just want to say uh, club promoter. It's cool. <laughs> I've been doing this shit I've been doing this shit for a long time I like to consider myself a motherfucking important part of the game right I do Halloweens every year Halloween weekend just passed some of the more fun things about Halloween as far as from my perspective is that seeing the costumes I am a Halloween guy I'm a the movie scary movie guy I like seeing the costumes I don't dress up because I live most of my most of my life, I live all my life as a black man. I'm naturally scary. I spend most of my time disarming anybody and everybody to feel comfortable around me so I don't have to dress up. I do that regularly. But part of that is seeing people come out, dress up. I enjoy that. I didn't see much. Yeah. Didn't see much. And every time I looked up, I see a costume. It was Tinkerbell. <laughs> every time I looked up, I seen a costume. It was, a, it was just cat ears. <laughs> every time I looked up, I seen Joker. It didn't look that really, it didn't look good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, you just, you know, they, the dress up now is, like I talked about last week, the dress up is... I'm going to put, I'm going to be Catwoman, put some ears. Maybe I have like a, some, some, some black makeup on my nose. But honestly, it's about the titties. Oh. It's about the ass. Oh. Creativity. Oh. Nah. Oh. It's all about, you know, I didn't see. Oh, I did. So I did see a dude, black dude. Now, did I talk about this last week? I'm not for sure. But I, see this, I did see a black dude, black guy. What's up, brother? What's up, man? I see you, brother. He was dressed up as the Pope. And I mean full-blown Pope costume. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was proud of him. I was proud of him. He put a lot of effort in that. 
the Pope, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I was impressed that he chose the Pope. I'm not saying that that's, if you, you know, if you see, you know, you can't see me, but chose the Pope. I'm not saying that that's the, you know, that's the costume I would run with, but he chose the Pope. He had the hat, the the gown. And I mean, he was in full Popey mode. You know what I'm saying? I think he was carrying like a little, I mean, you know what? Never mind. Let me be quiet. But <laughs> he's just a bit of Pope. That was cool. I didn't, like I said, I'm in, I'm my, I don't drink. I'm not the drinking promoter. I'm, I, I, I get a lot of content. You know, people want drinks. I get them drinks. I get them a lot of content. I mean, I get a lot of content. I get them drinks if they want, but I, I kind of just people watch. And so I was, I was locked in on the con, the, the costumes, a little coffee break here. It's my shit. I do what I want. Today, I decided to put the pumpkin coffee and the gingerbread coffee together. I don't know why. That doesn't seem like a mixture that's supposed to go together, but I did it. I don't like it. It was a bad move. Even I feel like the most white as a white person, Wayne Brady, um, is disappointed in my combination. Who does that? Who puts gingerbread coffee and pumpkin spice coffee together and says, okay, now I'm going to do some other things to it. And it's going to come out a hit. It was disgusting. It was a horrible move, but I needed the coffee anyway. It's got to be pumped up. But the costumes this week were pretty, pretty pedestrian. There's nothing special going on. It was just a thing of laziness and i like to i like to hope that you know next year we could really 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 have fun i didn't see any seven i mean 11s i don't know it's naturally because i'm black to think of 7-11 you know 7-11 7-11 you know that's dice and you know we like niggas like to do but i ain't see nobody dressed as 11 you know what i'm saying there were no elves there was no hobbits there was no you know what i'm saying there was, I seen, oh, you know what? Seen some cool jigsaw stuff. Some jigsaw costumes. It's pretty cool. And I, and then I, the first thing I've ever done, like, is I handed out candy for Halloween. I've never done that. I know, right? As in, a, like, I've been on Earth for a long time. I've never done that. You see a little greedy, the greedy fucks come up for the candy? You never, I've never done that before. I never knew how much they don't give a shit about you. They're here. They're here for the candy. I don't care who you are, what health issue you have. I barely know how to say thank you because the the air is a little different. They don't really say trick or treat. They just run up on you with their bag open and they want the candy. Dying from cancer tomorrow? I don't care. These don't work quite right. I don't care, bro. Where's the sugar, fam? Run it. But I did do it and it was cool. I could see me decorating the fuck out of my house, scaring the fuck out of a lot of kids because they don't, they, why not? They don't care. They're greedy. They want the candy. They don't care about nothing. But it was nice to do. I did it from my heart. Did I do it from my heart? But I feel like I did it from my heart. Hopefully it goes on to my heaven report card. I need it. But it was it was cool to do. No, I, I like I like like we sat outside. They had um they had the um the projector. That's the word. They had the projector playing the Suns and Spurs game, which ended up being an extremely wild game. That was on. We they put it on the garage while so I was outside. I was, I felt like a real adult. I don't do a lot of adult stuff, but I felt like a real adult. But outside of pay bills, they got to take my money. But I don't do a lot of adult stuff. So I felt like a cool adult with the kids. I was, you know, it was, it was happy. It was, the energy was nice. It was a nice energy mover. But again, oh, the kids had more creativity. I told you, see, that's what I, I wanted to add. The kids, I seen kids in dinosaur costumes where you see the dinosaur walking, but you can't see the body. So they like the legs. It was cool. I seen that. I seen an alien version of that. You know, the kids actually had like Wolverine costumes on Spider-Man costumes. I ain't seen none of that shit. 
This is adult. Adult costumes have been sexified. That's what I seen. I and and so I was also put on notice about the uh, the Kim Kardashian costume. So it wasn't nothing special, you know. I feel like I feel like as a celebrity or a rich, super rich celebrity, because you can have you could be a D list celebrity and shit could be really fucked up. Your lights about to be turned off, you know, all type of shit, right? But as a as a real A list rich motherfucker, I want you to put the effort in. I want you to go all out. If I look at your if I look at your page. And you're dressed as clueless. That's not hard to do. Clueless is not hard to do. And that's what Kim and North did. That's what I was told. And then I got told some real rich shit. Kim and North dressed up as clueless. As you would probably go to a, (laughs) as you would probably go to a a, a Salvation Army or, or Goodwill to try to find the gear for this, or maybe even to, you know, Forever 21 or wherever women shop or Fashion Nova, um, you would go there to try to find, you know, your gear. You would buy your clothes to do a clueless setup with you and your daughter. They went to Dolce and Gabbana. And I'm like, that's just some really rich shit. You know what I'm saying? Just some really rich shit. It's like, oh, I got a pair of curries, but um, I don't want the curry shoelaces in there. I don't want the Under Armour shoelaces in there. I'm going to go directly to Louis Vuitton and I'm saying I want some shoelaces made specifically for my curries and I'll give you the money. Did she actually pay for them? I don't know. Maybe they made the outfit for her and her daughter and all they had to do was just say it was from them. That's some really rich shit. I like to think that I'm doing well because I put 40 in the tank, in the gas tank. I don't want to put up the Kim and she don't even know. Nope, she don't even touch the gas pump. She just a blink her eyes and the gas pops out of the, the pump and in her car and she just drives off. That's if she even, that's if she just drives something with gas in it. I'm assuming they do because they don't, there's, when you're rich, honestly, at the end of the day, when you're super, super duper rich, do you really care about the earth? Because if, earth goes up i'm pretty sure they're gonna put you on the plane to go to the other planet so you don't even really have to give a fuck you yawn at mother nature because you're filthy rich and because oh mother nature's mad okay fuck it she wants to blow the earth up and scorch it up and everything's burning and stuff i'm getting on the plane uh the rocket nasa built 20 years ago and they keep updating it every year i'm getting on that rocket and then we go into a different planet y'all motherfuckers be cool because i'm rich i'm super rich i'm wealthy Nasty millionaire, billionaire. That's the process. That's what I believe. But that's some cold motherfucking dope. That's some cold. That's some cold work right there. When you, when you that type of rich. And your very basic costume is. Made by Dolce and Gabbana. Yeah, that's that's special. That's special right there. That's a different type of ducky. Different type of connect too. You know what I'm saying? It's not like saying like, oh, about to have my auntie make this for me. That's not the same. That's not the same. It's Dolce and Gabbana. I walk past that shit and I'm, I'm like, nope. My girl, don't. You can't ask for it. They don't have, they don't have, they don't have afterpay. They don't have the karma. I can't do it. I can't do it. I grew up with railway. They don't have a railway. We can't do it. Don't look at the DNG. That's for Kim. It's for North. For the for the young daughter. She gets the Doji and goodbye. I would like to hand her um glory. Give her some clothes from Walmart. I know they make glory. 
They give her some clothes. I said, glory, here you go. Here goes some glory clothes. And I just want to see what her face is like when you hand her some Walmart gear and what she looked like. Like, what is, what's the fabric? And you feel like the fabric is so, so cheap in her skin that she get a rash on her fingertips when she touch it because she's not used to touching shit like that. It's like, it's not silk. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not a dead animal. I can't touch this. Every time I touch it, I get fingertip rash. It's fingertip rash. Cause I can, I'm my money too long to touch something from Walmart. Have you think they ever made it to a Walmart before COVID? Before COVID, when you, Walmart used to be open twenty four hours, I would like to think that it had to been forced to go into a Walmart, right? At some point, somebody got so sick. They was like, "Oh shit! The only thing that's open is Walmart. We got to go to Walmart to get some 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 tums or some shit like that." I like to think they made it into a Walmart, but North, nah, fam. You give her some. <laughs> you give her some. <laughs> you give her some gear for Walmart, and she might start coughing up blood. This is not healthy for me. What is this? This is horrible. <laughs> uh, what? A, <laughs> I want to move into something that's has been pretty wild when it when I. Uh, talk about this um i have people that i work with right they're uh bottle service girls sweethearts they're nice women people are very mean to bottle service girls and this is my insta instagram tip closing thing i'm a jigger that i do i'm starting to do where i kind of talk about the gram and some things you could do to increase your traffic and to increase your opportunity to be more popular And bring more attention to your brand, to your uh, business, or, you know, or, you know, just maybe eventually become somebody that you want to be on Instagram. Now, you don't have to be a person that wants to be famous on the social media platforms. You know, I talk about Instagram just because I use it to make my bread, to make my duckies. To make the ducats. So I know a little thing about it. I'm not saying I'm the best. I told y'all last episode. There's probably five more people out there in the world that know more than me. And that's okay. I'm going to talk about it anyway. So my server's been getting targeted. Now let me explain this. When I say targeted, somebody out there is hating. Hating on your ladies. Meaning... These ladies are doing such a good job that people are going and reporting their stuff. Now, listen, now, sometimes you look and you say, wow, well, maybe you wrong about that shade. Maybe you wrong. But I'm not. Because, look, most of the time when people are, it's like, okay, you could be one person and then somebody just doesn't like you. Right. And so they're hating on your posts. And, you know, it takes, they, I read, multiple things about how many people it takes to get your post flagged or get it taken down. Um, five to 10 probably could be 10 and up. It ain't, it ain't going to be two or three. I really believe two or three is not going to do it. Five or 10, five, 10, 15, 20. Get you targeted. Before I even continue, if you had somebody and you know, like you deep down know, that it's them doing it. Do you know what type of work it takes for somebody to build fake Instagram? Now, I'm not saying that they're going through and they're giving them pictures and they're actually following people. People people do that. They're following people. I'm just saying, you got to get a new email, maybe attach a phone number. I haven't built, I haven't gotten a new Instagram in a minute, but maybe I got three of them, but uh, maybe attach a number if you got to, but just an email, right? So you got to create five emails. Or you're, so it's all psychotic. So you create five emails. Maybe you create 10, maybe you create 15. You're crazy. Even if you go out and you lobby for five, 10, 15 people to go to that person's page to get something of theirs taken down or multiple things of them taken down, you are a villain, a villain. And in you, man, you come right out of a comic book. 
Like that? It goes like that. Hold on, I'm gonna do it again. Man, you come right out of a comic book. So th- I mean, think about that. Take time to think about that. It's not always like a it's not a bang bang when it comes to setting up an email. There's a few little skip steps. You know, it's like you gotta hop a little bit to get the email set up. To cre- potentially create five to ten to fifteen to twenty emails to <laughs> take people's posts down. That's pretty gangster. And you are dedicated and you are exactly what the Marines are looking for. Because I don't mind having you on the front line. I like to keep a psycho on the front line because they're going to go out there and do the work. And you are a psycho if you create 5, 10, 15, 20 pages to target and take somebody's page down. You are a psycho if you get 5, 10, 15, 20 people. If you convince them, if they're friends or family, Say, hey, I don't like this girl. I don't like this dude. They did this. We go get their shit taken down. Because granted, it's just the ground. But a lot of people, you know, make, you know, when they're bottle service, they make the duckies from the, from the IG. They get the duckarookies from the IG. Booking tables. Getting people to come through the door. Right? So you think about it. You're like, well, Shade, you may be wrong. Well, most of the time when it was like, like some sometimes women, maybe in the OnlyFans world, maybe just, you know, popular, you know, women or I'm using women right now because that's what's happening to the bottle service girls because they're women, right? So most of the time you look up because I've helped people get their pages back and I kind of know some steps. There's some long steps. I know some steps. I don't know higher ups or people at the gram and like that. Just some things that you read and you research online. Cause I've had some things happen to me. If you go back to past long time ago, I got an episode for it. But, um, when they used to take pages or they would take pages down, you usually get hit up by somebody saying, Hey man, it's me. I'm the jacker of your page. Pay me these, pay me these dollars. I'll give you a page back. I've seen it where people have paid the dollars, gotten a page back. The dude hit them back up. Like, ah, I took it again. Give me another $200. Or I've seen them ask for nudes, which is wild to get the page. They want to meet up. Get the page. Don't ever. Listen, I know y'all not, but don't ever meet up with nobody. All right. That's a dateline situation. That's a 2020 situation. That's a Netflix, de- you know, documentary situation. I don't want, I don't want that for you. Don't do that. But those are the things that usually happen when somebody comes through and jacks your page, right? Like they want your page, they want you to pay some money to get it back. This though is all like if you when they so for example, one of the servers have gotten her page back. It'll you know how you know people that will help you get your page back. Can show you, or even if you have to dispute some stuff, it'll show you it's all dealing with nightclub posts, right? Now, you could say that the gram's trying to clean things up, but you can also see what the gram allows. And if a lot of those posts are allowed by millions, what's the difference when you're a post when you are just in bottle service attire? But when everything that were reported is all from your nightclub, and then you next thing you know, there's four girls hit from your nightclub. It's targeting. So how do you, what do you do? How do you fix it? What do you do to protect yourself? Honestly, there's not much. I told them that you could go private because you have to monitor. Um, I talked about this last episode. You have to monitor what comes through your page. Um, you're trying to. Look at the lopsided numbers, no profile pics, Middle Eastern pictures, all types of stuff. There's telltale signs. You should just be blocking, deleting constantly, if, especially if your page is not private. So you have to try to pay attention to that stuff. If you're a very popular person, man. That traffic comes in at a high rate. So it's hard to just constantly. I do it. I don't care. It's just hard to constantly monitor who's coming through. You constantly block them, but that's what you have to do. Because if you get enough, like I said, if you get enough fly fish, they're gonna go ahead and and jack your shit up. 
And I wish the gram had better monitoring for that. But so I told him, I was like, well, putting your page on private allows you to pay attention to who's coming through and who you can allow. You know, unless the Trojan horses are already in there, there's nothing you really can do. But putting your page on private will help you monitor who's coming through, who's following you. You could kind of see what's going on. Um, and it's, you know, moving into the to the blue check mark world is interesting. I know the gram has made it a little bit easier to try to get in contact with live people, but if you don't have your gram, you're jacked. Now you can get some live help going through your Facebook. If you have a Facebook business page, you could get some live help. There's some steps for that. And you know, you want to, I don't, I might, I don't know. I'm, I'm gabbing. So who knows? I might talk about it. I might not. I might tell you the steps. Cause I don't, I only got what another, I want to go for another five, seven minutes. So I might not get there. You might have to hit me up for that. You might have to talk to me for that. You might have to DM me for that, but is buying the blue check worth it. Now for me, I don't like putting my government name. You know, I'm not a big government name guy, not to say that, you know, uncle Sam ain't already, they don't know nothing about me. They, they know everything about me. They listen to my conversations. They know my browser history. You know what I'm saying? You know my browser history. You know, <laughs> you know they know everything. But I just don't like having it out there. And you got to have your actual name, your government name on there to match up with your ID to buy the blue check. I don't want that. So I don't do that. You know, and, and, they, and I know they have the business blue check coming. And um, maybe that will require different documents, which I'm hoping like my LLC corporation, I can send them that. And then, bam, I could be, you know, verified for there because it's supposed to help you with your identity. You're supposed to get better uh, online service Um, because a lot if they're hitting you, if they're hitting the women for nudity and most of the time you could get that back, you could just appeal. But if they hit you for impersonation, they really go hard for the impersonation. Then you got to go through, you know, process of that, you know, and if and if, you know, a lot of the emails, a lot of the messages that you get from the gram is all set up to to make it quick, fast, and in a hurry. They believe in their system. So why do I have to bother with actually getting to know you and what happened if I have a system in place to check and balance that? There are still things you could do. It's an annoying process. You got to work for it, but you can get your page back. From my understanding and what I've witnessed, they never actually delete your page. Because what if you go out and you go on a murdering spree? What if you go on a murdering spree? They want to be able to tap in with that Grizzam. They want to be able to pull you in and be like, this your grand motherfucker. Well, you was already posting some wild shit. So I, I really believe, and I've read that your gram is never actually truly gone. And I believe you can always get your gram back. They talk about it all the time, how people just looked up, they tried to log in and their gram was back the whole nine, but targeting I would recommend getting a blue check mark. I recommend it sucks because that's 15 clean coming out the pocket every month. That's 15 clean. But if, if the gram is where you make your duckies is where you make your bread, you know, our platforms period, you know, you got your two factors on all those things to protect your page. But reporting is something that's very difficult to deal with because there's a lot of people. So you got to think about the platform trying to manage all that. You know, so they got they got their checks and they got their balances happening there and they think that their system is flawless and it's flawed. So then you have to try to protect yourself. And that's the one way that they're going to put you in a corner is like you should have a blue check mark, fam. We would have held you down if you would have had the blue. You got to pay the 15, the 15 clean. You know what I'm saying? The 15 clean gets you protected, gets you the bulletproof vest that you need to go out there in the world and protect yourself. I think it's worth it. You know, if you are a person, you feel targeted, you feel like put your page on private, monitor what's going on, go through your following, do some damage when it comes to looking for these lopsided numbers, looking for these no profile pictures. They could even have a profile picture and their numbers is jacked. I don't give a fuck. You gone. If you don't look like a person that uses your page. I blocked you. Dikembe Matumbo, I blocked you. Patrick Ewing, I blocked you. 
Shaquille O'Neal. I block. You get it. You get it. But you got to do your own hand to hand combat. You got to pay attention. And it sucks because I know a lot of the girls have paid some money. Four grand total. I'm not saying she paid four grand at one time. But but if you go online, you've seen people pay 15 grand. You know, this is a couple of years back. You'll see people paying 15 grand, five grand, thousand dollars, get their page back. But you still pay some duckies to get your stuff back because people know how to get it back. I'm not saying I'm charging you. I'm just saying. People know how to get it back. If you want to do it yourself, it's going to require a lot of work, a lot of research, a lot of due diligence. You got to be on top of that shit. But to end the Instagram talk, I would definitely buy the blue check. Definitely have my page on private monitor who's coming in. I would definitely go into the following, clean up all that. Who's following you? You want to go into who's following? Try to get it cleaned up as much as possible. That's a lot of hand to hand combat. It's a lot of work, but it's the only way. That's the only way. Oh, man, that was dramatic. It's the only way. It's the only way. I want to say thank you for listening to the Seasonable Clout. I am Thaddeus Shade. I hope you tell somebody about this podcast, what is strange and odd and fun and maybe just a little bit interesting, something you can learn, something you can use in life. I told you before, there's only four times in life you get to live. Four times in life. On the shitter. Never be a quitter. I don't know, but thank you for listening to the Seasonable Clad. I'm Thaddeus Shade. You can find me on the gram um, at Thaddeus Dot Shade. You can find me on Twitter at Thaddeus Shade. And then I'm on the Ticker Talker now, doing a little bit better on that. And um, yeah, that's the end of this episode. Oh, can I go through my things? Hold on. Yes, I am him. Hand claps for me. Hand claps. Let's go to the other one. Man, you come right out of a comic book. I use that one today. Oh, I didn't give you story time, but I'm not going to do it now. I'll do it next episode. Oh. I just picked that up from uh, Fresh Prince. Oh. It's on my phone. <laughs> you know I stay with the Kawhi Lane. Man, you are in a court of law. There are a lot of people in here. We can't hear you. Your honor, you're going to have to make them speak up. What does GTD stand for? Got the draws, okay? (laughs) Sorry, I missed it. From Ghostbusters 2. That's my intro. All right, y'all. Peace.